I made it to the Minotaur Lake trailhead. So I am going to start climbing this. Um, uh, first, I got to register at the box per the regulations, but then I got to start climbing. The thing to know about this trail is that it is steep. Um, it has 1900 feet of elevation gain in a mile and a half. <sighs> Um, and what I'm planning on doing is 2,400, I think, in two and a half miles. So this is going to be a steep climb. No running on this one. Uh, and we'll hope I get to the top of Labyrinth Mountain before I hit my turnaround time. Let's go. giving me serious mailbox peak old trail vibes here. <sighs> so far so good on the climbing, but the trail is very easy to lose. It blends in quite well. Um, this is the trail. And this is off to nowhere and stuff. It's very easy to lose, so you gotta pay attention. Um, and it's kind of funny, in here, with this weather, like I could convince myself this is a beautiful early spring day, because all these are evergreens, and with the sun like this, <laughs> I'm in April. This is beautiful. I'm just, uh, I'm just back on Mailbox Peak, that's all. If you know, you know. If you've done Mailbox Peak Old Trail, you know what I'm talking about. Um, I will say, when trails this steep, it is kind of nice. It is satisfying in a way because you get the feeling of like, really making a lot of progress in a very short amount of time and uh, climbing. You just, uh, don't skip leg day. Those are so pretty. I've gained most of the elevation to get to the lake. I'm almost there and then I'll see what the uh, final approach to Labyrinth looks like, but the trail is flattened out once you get to the meadows. Really, really pretty. Although this might not be the best section for me to be filming. 
convince you that the trail <laughs> flattens out. <laughs> but when you reach the meadows, you're close. Oh my God, this is it. This is it. I've reached lake level and I can see the summit from here. I just gotta get through this meadow. Oh, this is beautiful. I give you Minotaur Lake. Woo! Oh, this is beautiful. <gasps> I'm gonna come back here sometime in the summer and swim out to that island there. <gasps> oh my God. This is gorgeous. That is a really freaking cool mountain too. It took me just uh, over an hour to get here. So um, I'm gonna check out uh, what the final ascent up to Labyrinth looks like and uh, make the final decision about whether I'm gonna make the push today or save the climb for, for next year. But it is worth it just to get to the lake. Oh my God. Yeah, and the uh, route to Labyrinth goes along this side of the lake, so the left side, not the right side, even though there is a trail that seems to go that way. You want to go this way for Labyrinth. So, so looking down here, uh, that is the reason I have decided to call it. Um, Labyrinth is right there, but um, there is a little bit more scrambling and steep sections. I'm not sure if I had the camera on me. Um, 
than I was expecting. And while I definitely could do them, um, the problem is, is I don't think that I would be able to get up there um, with the added difficulty um, before my turnaround time. Uh, so for that reason, I'm just gonna call it um, good that I got to Minotaur and um, save doing Labyrinth next summer for when my brother can come with me. He's gonna be very bummed that I came here first without him, but he started college, so that's the way it works. Um, but I am going to enjoy this beautiful viewpoint and have a snack before heading back down that very steep trail. Yeah, seeing Labyrinth just makes me want to climb it more. I am really bummed that I'm not going to be climbing it today, but it is the right call, um, especially in the getting into uh, lower, less daylight um, each day. It's important to keep that in mind and um, adhere to your turnaround time. I promised my husband I would, so I will do that. <sighs> It is a very cool mountain though. And Theseus also just jaw dropping. You gotta come, you gotta come and make sure you see Theseus because, oh wow, it'd be amazing to just kind of swim to that island. Nobody would bother you there. I have no idea if you can hear this with the, uh, wind and all but beautiful little outlet lake there as well insane So I survived. Um, that descent is brutal. And um, I actually did end up having to take my shoes off and walk down the rest of it barefoot because they were actually making me take longer to descend. Um, but that is a very steep trail and um, 
It took me less time going up than going down. It took me two and a half hours to do the whole trail. Um, but just, I definitely enjoyed going up more than going down, especially on this trail. Just hit the door. Um, but really good day of hiking before the snow hits. Um, very late fall. I could not have asked for better weather for this adventure today. I am very, very grateful. It is supposed to rain here tomorrow. So just that little weather window. Um, I am, I'm okay that I didn't make it to the top of Labyrinth. It just means that this next year, I'm going to have to come back for some unfinished business. But overall, I'm really proud of how I did today. And um, I hope you enjoyed watching me try to get in as much hiking with that little weather window as possible before the rain comes. Yeah, and um, I would say don't do this one if you uh, don't, if you can't really handle um, steep trails because it is really steep um, and people underestimate how difficult a steeper trail can be because they go up it, it is a lot easier to go up than to come down. And coming down um, is where a lot of people fall. So um, work up to this one. Don't come and do this one first. Do Lake Valhalla and um, work up to doing this trail. But it is quite spectacular. Um, yeah, and obviously going over to the ridge to see Theseus was, I think, my favorite part because that is a just jaw-dropping lake with an amazing view and I had it all to myself. <sighs> I got to get going now. Um, it's a long drive back home so um, yeah enjoy some of my favorite pics from the trail. <laughs> <laughs>